We have breaking news tonight. I'm here with a scientist named Alfred Wagner. He has a new theory that could change the world. It's called continental drift. Alfred, explain your theory. My theory of continental drift uh, states that I believe at one time most of the continents were together. I believe that South America and Africa were once one continent and that North America and Europe were also together. Um, this, I think that they've been slowly drifting apart into the oceans that we have today and the continents that we now have today. What evidence do you have of this? Well, as you can see, I uh, have a few pictures of South America and Africa. And if you look fairly closely, you can tell that they looks as if they fit together like the pieces of a puzzle. And also I have um, a few pictures of a certain plant that on one side grew on the west coast of Africa and on the east coast of South America. But they're separated by two totally different oceans. And I don't believe that they could um, create, that they could have evolved separately. Hello, my name is Alfred Wagner. You might remember me from my interview with Asher, but... <coughs> this marks the day when Alfred Wagner dies. Hello, my name is Andrew Ballard, and I'm a news reporter here to speak with a man named Harry Hess, who has reportedly found evidence to support Alfred Wagner's theory of continental drift. What is this evidence you've discovered? I've discovered evidence by sea force spreading with magnetic pole reversals. What are these magnetic pole reversals? It is when the magnetic poles of the Earth have shifted formations, like north became south, south became north, and rock formations are different and they s switch colors. So you're telling us that Alfred Wegener's theory was actually correct? Yes. Breaking news, we have a local boy who claims that he's seen a ghost of Alfred Wegener. We have live footage to take you to the scene right now. Here at the gravesite of Alfred Wegener, the guy who thought of the theory of continental drift, Everyone thought he was wrong, but a guy named Harry Hess actually proved his theory to be right, but he died before he was proven right. Oh my god, it's him! He's a ghost! It says, I was right! And you're all salty! What is he doing? He's, he's, he's running! He's... <laughs> 